You are listening to the Winners Ways podcast with Bola Halabi, episode number 63. Would you like to win and achieve success at what you do? Welcome to the Winners Ways podcast, where we create winners every day. And now, your host, the author of Winners Ways book and life coach, Bola Halabi. Hey everyone, welcome to the Winners Ways podcast, where it's all about your career, your money, and the motivation to live life to the fullest. On today's show, we'll be talking about seven interview tips that will help get you hired. I don't know your position today, I don't know your situation. Maybe you are looking for a job and you've been invited for a job interview. Now, the ball is in your court. You need to convince the hiring manager that you are the right person for the job. So before you attend the interview, I would like to share expert tips that will help you so that you can achieve success and get hired. So today's show is simple. We'll be sharing seven quick tips to get you prepared and equipped to win the hearts and minds of the interviewer. Now, let's go into it. Number one, you need to study the job description. Study the job description. You need to know the details of the job that you are going to be interviewing for. What does the role entail? What are the expectations from your employers? What are the essential skills that will help you to perform on that job? So how do you know all this information? The best way is to make sure that you study the job description because that will give you a leg up and it will help you to appropriately prepare for the interview. You cannot over prepare for this job interview. So study the job description. And along with that, make sure you study the commonly asked interview questions, like what are your strengths and weaknesses? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Why are you looking to change? What motivates you? Go to Winners Ways website or check my past podcast episodes for these commonly asked interview questions. I've created different episodes on commonly asked interview questions to help guide you to prepare for interview. So you need to study the job description and above all, you need to tell them why the role appeals to you. You must find a way of personalizing this role. You can say something like, I love this role because it will, you can say something like you can make the most impact with this role. And you can add that your experience will help to make sure that you work in such a way that the company will benefit. Now you can say something that your past experience will help to make sure that you deliver the most value to the company. So that's number one. You need to study the job description. Number two. Know your audience and know the company. Before you go for an interview, it is essential that you research your audience. For example, is it going to be a one-person interview? Are you going to be facing a panel of people? Please do your due diligence and familiarize yourself with the people that will be interviewing you. Technology has made this a lot easier because once you know their name, 
you can leverage technology to get to know more about them. You can go on their LinkedIn page or even their Facebook page to see who they are, to know more about them. You may ask, why is this important? Knowing more about them, maybe you may find that you have something in common with them and you can use that connection to your advantage. Maybe you guys went to the same college. Maybe you are a fan of the same spot. You can easily talk about that. Maybe you even grew up in the same neighborhood. You can talk about that. You can bring that experience to the interviewer so that they will feel more connected with you. And much more than knowing your interviewers, you need to research the company. Again, use the technology to your advantage here. You can go on Google and learn more about the company. You can go to the company website to know about their mission and vision. And you can establish with the interviewer how your values align with that of the company. And you should not forget to read the reviews about the company. You can learn more about the benefits of working with the company from both current and past employees of that company. So use Glassdoor to give you more insight about the company. So that's number two, know your audience and know the company. Number three, dress for success. You've got to dress for success. Depending on the job you are applying to, you must ensure that you pick the right type of attire that will match the job that you are interviewing for. If it's a white collar job, that's a job that you work in an office environment, you need to dress in suits. That's for both male and female. For blue collar job, on the other hand, this is a manual labor kind of job. There may not be any specific dress code for you, but you should ensure that you look clean. You should make sure that you trim your beard, you look nice, and ladies should neatly pack their hair. You should use perfume moderately. Your jewelry should be moderate. Shine your shoe, check your nails to make sure that they are well clean and cut. Make sure that your outfit is clean, well-pressed and well-tailored. Because really, if you look your best, you will feel your best. And if this requires you to cut your hair, please do it. If it requires you to shave your beard, please do it. Because feeling good about yourself will boost your confidence. And you know already that having confidence is essential for landing your dream job. So that's number three, dress for success. Number four, you must be in the right mood. I cannot overemphasize the importance of being in the right mood on the day of the interview. You need to be in the right frame of mind so that you can think clearly and positively to land your dream job. So for you to be in the right mood, please make sure that you are well prepared for the interview. Because if you are not prepared, then you are going to panic. And if you start panicking, you will not be able to communicate correctly with the interviewer. And being prepared also means you need to know your role. You need to study the job description. You need to know every information that you can possibly know about the company. You must do everything that you can to get ready for the interview. If it's a technical interview, you should come up with stories that will help you to translate your past experience and bring it to that interview room and share your experience with the interviewer. You will most likely find something that you have done in the past 
that you can bring to the table and talk to your interviewer. So prepare very well for this interview. And you must watch out for your composure, your body language, your facial expression, your sitting position, even your handshake, because your mood is communicating something to the interviewer. I need you to make sure that it is communicating the right message and not giving the wrong message to the interviewer. You should also create a list of questions that you want to ask the interviewer. Take notes during the interview. And I know it may be difficult to relax when you think about interview because there is a lot at stake for most people. But you must maintain a good posture. You must appear confident to the interviewer. And how do you do this? You should be prepared. Please make sure that you prepare very well. But don't deprive yourself of sleep because sleep deprivation can make you tired on the day of the interview and can consequently throw you off your game. So that's it. That's number four. Be in the right mode. Number five, arrive on time. Imagine this. You are an interviewer and you are waiting for your candidate to come. The candidate is 30 minutes late. How would that make you feel? Time management is an essential attribute for anyone that wants to achieve success in their career or even in their personal life. If you have an interview scheduled for 10 a.m., you should target to arrive there at least 10 to 15 minutes before the interview time. If you get there earlier, maybe 30 minutes or one hour, you should hang out maybe in the parking lot or somewhere around the interview location. You should not show up at 9 a.m. for an interview that was scheduled for 10 a.m. You should know about time management. Time management will help you to properly plan your time so you can get to the interview at the right time. Never ever arrive late at an interview because that's a big red flag for your potential employer. If you are going for an interview in a place that you haven't been before, make sure you go there prior to the interview dates so that you can be sure of how to get to the location. This will help you to study the traffic It will help you so that you can have a better estimate of how long to get to the venue. You don't want to miss your way on the first day of the interview or let traffic cause you to get there late. So plan your time, organize your time. Don't wait till the last minute to pick the clothes that you want to wear to the interview. Select your clothes, your shoe, your belt. Make sure you are ready the prior night before of the interview. And don't wait till the last minute before you start preparing. So that's number five, arrive on time. Now, number six, craft your stories. You must take your time to prepare for different stories that you can tell the interviewer to share your experience with him or her. Your stories should reflect your values, your experience, your skills. And basically your story should tell the interviewer what you bring to the table. And I have three points on how to clearly communicate your stories. The first thing is you look at your track record and you talk about the problems that you've solved in the past. So you state, what was the situation? That's number one, the problem. Number two, action. What did you do to solve the problem? You must be able to come up with what you did to solve the problem and communicate those things to the interviewer. And number three, the results. 
What did you get from solving the problem? What changed afterward? So practice your story and be ready to talk when the opportunity presents itself. Number seven, the last but not the least, follow up after the interview. And how do you follow up? Write a short mail to the interviewer to thank them for their time. Summarize your skills and experience. And finally, express your desire to join the organization. And that's it. Seven interview tips that will help you get hired. I hope you found this episode beneficial. You can use this as a checklist whenever you are preparing for an interview so that you can adequately prepare for that job. Till next week again, this is Bola Halabi. Now, go win. This episode of Winner's Ways podcast has come to a close. We hope you enjoy and learn something from today's show. We want you to win and excel in all areas of your life. And we regularly explore and share information with our listeners to empower them to win. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more tips and strategies to help you find the success that you've always dreamt of. And don't forget to rate and review so that we can continue to bring you more podcast episodes to empower you. We will love to have you again next week. Now, keep winning. Oh, 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 oh,